I just didn't swoon. No. Sorry, and I do sometimes swoon. You just have to get me another character. Right. right. You'll see me. And I'll say, sure, oh, that's too much. Very unprofessional. We are enjoying watching the season two finale of Fire Country. And we are not people who've seen a lot of it, but we were skipping through, flipping through channels. And we've seen gripping scenes from Fire Country. So we're looking yeah. forward to watching this yeah. finale. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm really loving it. We've already been talking about it. We've gotten up to the first commercial break. A little redemption story. So we're in. We've been properly Yeah, I'm enjoying given, the, I'm enjoying the, the writing. Yeah, we've been, yeah. we've been properly given an entry into this momentous mm -hmm. moment for a main character, for several main characters. Yeah, so they're keying yeah. up a really good season finale. They know how to do it. These writers know how to do it. And we're seeing yeah. some really good veteran actors. Yeah. So people that are new that I'm trying to warm up to. The, yeah. yeah. I, I'm just I'm just thinking like the the writing is consistently pretty good. Yeah. And the the acting with different, you know, like some people are really good and some people yeah. are eh, Okay. I'm going to warm up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're at the very so, beginning, the first right, little moment. Right, So right, then right. we're going to let them, so like, yeah, deal with some serious stuff, yeah, it's especially because it's a season finale. Right. So that's what I'm noticing right now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and the, it's shot very well. It's you know, Yeah, and choosing to beautiful. do a redemption story is mm -hmm. pretty pivotal. Mm -hmm. Choosing to do a redemption story invests us viewers in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's it's always, not it's always rooting, nice. Yeah. Who's not rooting for somebody to turn over a new leaf. Yeah. Absolutely. And struggle hard to do so. Yeah. So we're in. Yeah. As we're moving through to the second commercial break in the season two finale of Fire Country, I'm getting into the build up of these characters long time desires to have purpose, belonging, growth in their careers. This is a really beautiful thing to watch. We've watched other dramas over the years like Criminal Minds and watched how people work together so well in a work setting. Yeah. With the dramas, I guess that's one of the things is either you're really drawn in by how dysfunctional it is or you're drawn in by how wonderfully functional it is. And I think for us, we like it when it's really functional. People are showing up for each other. Yeah. They care. They yeah. fit well together. It looks like Fire Country is more they're caring, they're fitting well together, yeah. and they work well together. Yeah. But people love to have a purpose, a big purpose in what we do. And that's great. It's giving you passion. And I like to see that represented. Yeah, I'm enjoying absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because I think it's a good thing for us to move into these dramas. I'm appreciating the writing, taking time to be in the workplace. And it's a functional workplace <laughs> that helps people grow. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about the, um, you know, the whole redemption aspect of it. Yeah. Um, So it's uh, that's a nice, nice aspect of it. You know, lots of little, little, little dramas going on. But that's uh, you know one of the one of the bigger ones. So uh, right. You know, which uh, to me, you know, means something. You know, there's like relationship things going on. You know, um, you know, that's just sort of everyday life. You know. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, the whole redemption aspect of it uh, yeah. is is a nice sort of. Um, way to, you know, sort of color color the whole. It the whole is show. even if you've not been in a place where you've been incarcerated or mm -hmm. had some kind of law enforcement action against you. Right. You still need redemption for something if right. you've been on the planet long enough. Right. right. And so a lot of people can connect to that. But I love how there is care and realism under supporting Bodhi mm -hmm. for his coming out after being incarcerated right, in this right. fire program. Right. So he's got to have the first 72 hours are very critical. So that gives you as a writer a good clock because you're telling yeah, everybody, yeah. okay, he's got to get through this specific amount of time. That's mm -hmm. good in a series and an episode, but it's also really good in a movie. So they yeah. gave themselves that. But it also yeah. feels very realistic to say that these transition times in people's lives are pivotal. Yeah. And I love that the other people who were still in the program, still incarcerated in right. the fire program, right. were sending him off. Like yeah. we were speaking about how it's not a graduation that you just say, oh, I'm so happy that this student got through all these years. There's still some sense of, okay, I'm coming out of something that yeah. represents a low time in my life, but right. I actually redeemed myself right. and gave service. Right. Didn't just do time, but gave yeah. service. Worked hard. Worked and, yeah. hard and mm -hmm. helped save people's lives. But right. I haven't watched the series, right. so I don't right. know all right. the instances, but. Yeah, yeah. 
these are firefighters. They're doing some yeah. really great work. Yeah. So that felt wonderful. And yeah. Yeah. I felt so glad that people were talking about the support people need. We're not just looking at folks as throwaway people. We're having them redeem themselves. Right. And also they can celebrate each other and get support because they need it to transition from a very structured thing to the freedom of being on the outside. Yeah. A lot of us yeah. thrive in structure, y'all. Right. Even if we haven't gone through a period of incarceration, we still thrive yeah. on yeah. having a reason to get up, a purpose, something yeah, big to do. So it's just beautiful to see that represented. I think I'm still trying to warm up to some of the acting around some of the lighter moments. Yeah. I really want to be yeah. in this redemptive arc. I really want to see some of this stuff come together. Yeah. And yeah. I think yeah, in, if we, in general, I think the acting could be a little bit better. There, there are veterans who are killing this. Yeah, there are yeah. veteran actors yeah. who we have recognized a lot of other things. Yeah. Some of the older actors are who I'm talking about. Right, right. And they are really hitting notes with the writing yeah, that feels yeah. entertaining and still realistic and still has a sparkle, but not like outside of realistic. Yeah, yeah. I have some questions about are people making choices that are too realistic sometimes that don't pop on the screen? Yeah. Because acting is not just embodying the character with so much realism that we find it flat because sometimes people internalize things right, and try to hide right. ourselves and hide our emotions. We gotta have that stuff come out in some kind of way as a character or some kind right. of way that people are filming the character. So even if the actor makes a choice to really be quite internal, yeah. the camera work and the yeah. sound work yeah. gives us a window. Yeah. We have to have that as yeah. viewers. So I am still warming up to some of those acting choices in combination with how they're filming it. But I think also what's going on is we don't know this story super well. And so there is a limitation if they're mm -hmm. giving us these little foreshadowings for things that they've been foreshadowing for the whole season, then these little moments where we're inching it forward towards the wedding, we're inching it forward toward somebody going off to Sacramento to greener pastures. Maybe this is even a bigger deal because maybe yeah. there's been this push and pull about should we get married right now? Maybe there's been this push and pull about should I grow past where I am. And in fact, I think we should assume that there has been because this is where they're wrapping up a whole lot of things, the yeah. season finale. Yeah. So I think that might be another thing is that they're maybe giving a little bit less is more because they've done some things around these storylines for mm -hmm. several episodes and mm -hmm. we just didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still not warmed to it. And a lot yeah. of other shows that we jump into, they pull us from jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're not trying to have to figure out all this, you know, yeah. how to do this stuff. So we were talking about um, the other drama that we saw was um, out, what was it? Um, that, oh, uh, uh, yeah. So with the other drama that we saw and it had the Western motif and it had the oh, outer range, outer right. range, yeah, Western yeah. motif and it had the sci-fi. They were opening things up at the beginning of the season. And I'm wondering if it's going to be more difficult for us in a lot of ways to watch these season finales. Mm -hmm. We're people who want to learn. We're inspired by a lot of things and right. we're definitely learning a lot here with the power of a storyline that means so much to the human experience power of this redemptive story arc is considerable but i'm wondering if it's just going to be a lot more challenging for folks to pull off the season finales than the season premieres right 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 because you leave so many things open-ended especially yeah, yeah, for yeah. those of us who haven't been watching right because it's supposed to, to be open-ended yeah, if you're you starting sort of, the season at the same time wrap things up they do at, have and to. at this you know at the same time sort of leave things open so yeah, well, I think there's even more left open in a season premiere, and I think we really love that with Outer Range, yeah. because they gave us enough of a recap because it had been, a, for everyone, a while since people had new episodes. Yeah, yeah. So for those of us who are jumping in just as it's rolling, we're given an introduction here that you're not given for a season finale. Right. So right. I think this might be also for us jumping around a little bit. We're causing our own problems here, even in evaluating the acting. Because I'm thinking like if, if you've already been through the push and pull and push and pull right. of this same storyline, should I leave for Sacramento or not? Should I get married right now or not? Then heavy handed leaning on it right now might be like, yawn, we've already heard you do this like 12 times in the last couple of episodes, if yeah. you've been watching. Yeah. So yeah. maybe that's part of what's going on. I'm trying to root for the actors and all these things and learn from everybody. I'm not trying to be harsh and then not realize, oh, some of the way is on me for how I'm watching it. Right. So we just had a chance to talk about the section of the season two finale of Fire Country. 
that is before the third commercial break. And so I didn't get a chance to watch it, but you got a chance to watch it. And so what were some of the things that came up either in terms of spiritual connection? We've been talking about redemption arc, right. talking about having purpose and passion. Yeah. We know that we're moving the acts yeah, forward yeah, yeah. to a big, the redemption is uh, to a big, uh, send off. Yeah. The redemption so. is uh, the big part here. Um, the Bodhi's friend, I forget his name, um, who got, gets him the job at the construction site, um, was, you know, back back in the day, he was, he was the guy who got... Rick. Him, Rick, yeah. Uh, every, everybody doesn't trust Rick. They don't like Rick because of what he did. Rick in, was in, a in drug, dealer was drug dealer to Bodhi, and right. Bodhi got kicked off of the Cal Fire, right. wherever he was working before, and ended right. up being incarcerated because of drug right 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 offenses right right okay so it. uh um and and rick doesn't come forward saying you know oh i'm turned over a new leaf also yeah 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 I'm, I'm, redeemed. I'm clean now and all this stuff so um so Bodhi still thinks he's you know doing bad stuff and he's you know not Somebody not, not being very friendly to him and you know it's just uh so you know then we later on we get to learn that you know um, Later he's, on he's in been, this section, yeah, yeah, he's been uh, two years sober. Oh wow! Um, okay, there you go. Right, right, right. That takes some transformation of, course, of how you go and process some right. of your challenges. You of course, know? he could have come out with that first. But, but the thing is, they had that. a quick meeting. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then because Bodhi wasn't just let me just hang out with you and chop it up, they weren't talking a lot at all. Period. Yeah, when They yeah, first yeah. met in the. But I mean, they knew their the backgrounds, party. and he knew they knew that he did. You know, Bodhi did time. And yeah, so, but because Bodhi wasn't being that effusive, it wasn't like Rick was like doing anything but trying to help him. He was like, "Hey, I got this job." You, he was he was forthcoming and let me yeah, where yeah, you yeah, are. You yeah. need help, so yeah. let me help you. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't like Bodhi was like, "Oh, that's so great, man." You know, because da, da 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 da. And he would be like, "Yeah, I've also turned over a new leaf." They didn't yeah, chop yeah. it up because yeah, Bodhi yeah, was yeah. like reserved and like I'm just trying to keep my head down. In other yeah, words, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want you. So yeah. if he had been less reserved in that meeting mm -hmm. where he didn't know that Rick had turned over a new leaf right, anyway. Right. Then maybe things would have yeah, flown. Yeah, yeah, but true. yeah, I think I get frustrated sometimes when in writing people are having there be that dramatic irony where we know something about Rick yeah, that yeah, Bodhi yeah. doesn't yeah. know. And it's getting frustrating because you want people to be more forthcoming in life sometimes right, right. so that we can prevent certain misinformation or misunderstandings from right. carrying forward and causing drama. Right. But for writers, you want the drama. So you're going to yeah. go ahead and use this and yeah. have us be frustrated. Come on, Rick, just tell them, you know. Right, right. Okay. So we get put out, out of our misery in that section. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We just watched all but the very last segment of Fire Country. And okay, listen, we've been trying to give this thing something that can inspire us. And I'm an actor. I want to learn from other actors who are booking these gigs and working on these good shows. Learn from writers. I'm a screenwriter. I got to say, the veteran actors are still killing it. Mm -hmm. I, I like that we got to see a section in this section right before the fourth commercial break that let us see how they're fighting fires. We got to see Bodhi in action, even though this was just on the job. It wasn't. It was a job that he was doing, this construction job with Rick, and we got to see the confrontation that we talked about before right, actually right. happened in this section, right. wherein Bodhi explores that whole redemption arc where he didn't think Rick was redeemed, and then Rick sort of scolds him. You're not the only person here who's turned over a new leaf. So we get to see a lot of good things that I hadn't seen yet on this show that I think are hallmarks of the show, which made me also think, if we got a fire every dang on time, how like how much territory are they covering such that you got to have a fire every day on time that you come down and watch this show? And I'm saying that because I used to watch Murder, She Wrote. And it's like, how many people just <laughs> dropping dead around Angela? Y'all got to get away from Angela Lansbury. It's not good for your health. Mm -hmm. But, okay, maybe they serve a big community, y'all. I'm not sure y'all probably know about the stats as to whether or not they have well, just looks like, everything. Looks like they're in a not, big metropolitan not, area. Not an urban area. You know, so a lot of, like, forest fires or uh, something. Okay, maybe, well, well, okay. So. But see, I don't know the show. Yeah, it's yeah. a part of that just ran through my head. But I, I mean, they're like, six hours it? from Sacramento, so. Not a lot out there from what we remember. Right, right. Okay, so things flying through my mind. I really liked seeing how fighting the fire, the concept of this show where they have firefighting going on, really did pull me back in. But I got pulled out again after our hero, Bodhi, who's having this big redemptive arc, sees his ex, and she gives me a... <laughs> yeah we gotta bit, speak about it we have bit, to speak about it gabriella bit. is still having feelings for Bodhi. Right, fine right but a little bit overacting there. i didn't swoon 
Right. And he was helping the kid. He was saving the kid from this fire. Right. I right, was right. just tensely like hoping that it came together. I didn't yeah. swoon now because yeah, yeah. I'm not Gabriella. Right, right, right. So I'm not feeling all this way about Bodie. But if you're going to get that big of a reaction, don't a lot of your like watchers and viewers need to feel that too. If you're going to yeah. go that big, shouldn't we all be like, yeah, he's still yeah. dreamy. And I didn't feel that way. Now, if you'd have given me this other guy who's thinking about becoming uh, an inspector, yeah. mm -hmm. who's built like Superman, they call him Superman mm -hmm. the end down, he saved somebody. I might not have been able to avoid a swoon, <laughs> but he just looked real dreamy. Bodhi looks like regular people, cute regular people. Yeah, yeah. He's been working hard during this time in his life where he's been sort of down and trying to fight his way back to a place where he's proud of what he's doing and yeah. people see him in a positive light. Didn't swoon. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. I thought the special effects were fine or whatever they used yeah, to yeah, like yeah. render everything. I thought yeah. was okay. Sorry. Yeah. Some of the stunt stuff looked a little bit awkward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I thought, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Yeah. What I loved was I was in, I was pulled in by the fire. You're trying mm -hmm, to deal mm -hmm. with, yeah, yeah. are they going to be okay? It yeah. worked. It immediately injected something. Because mm -hmm. when we were focusing just after that one, Gabriella swooned. And now we're talking to Bodhi. A friend is talking to him. How are you going to, are you going to stop the wedding? You got to do that. Mm. It, it all was getting flatter for me. Yeah, we little, lost the fire. We lost yeah. the life and deathness of it all. Yeah. We went to more familiar yeah. territory, which is how people are. We like to have love in our lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes love is difficult and you got to work on mm -hmm. stuff. It doesn't yeah. all go smoothly. We understand that. We mm -hmm. work on it. Yeah. So I love that they're loving love and putting some space in there. But girl, you're going to, and I'm not with you. You got to catch yourself. At least if you, you got to, oh, wait, let me, that might've been a moment that I could have related to like, oh, you catch yourself. Oh, wait a minute. Now let me put it back together. That was too much. Not as an actor. I'm saying as a person, yeah, yeah. if you catch yourself caught up in something, you say, wait, <clears throat> But that would be too maybe comic. And yeah. I just, I'm getting a tone here that is feeling not as powerful as some of the scenes that we've seen that are confrontations around life and death stuff. Right. I think that that's where some of these younger actors who I haven't seen in as many things, they're shining. They're really getting it. They're yeah. connected. Yeah. It feels like in these more everyday, are we going to take this job in Sacramento for Eve's character or not? Right. That kind of moment. Right. It's feeling, it felt good for me that the gentleman that was still incarcerated and was still working mm -hmm. under her right. was saying, hey, you know, I think you're, don't let somebody else turn you into into them. Right, like, right, if right, you really right. want to stay in this job, stay in this job. Right, right. That felt really, really beautiful because yeah. a lot of times we just think moving up is always the better thing for mm -hmm. you. And sometimes you have to know yourself and know if staying when other people would go up right. is actually the better thing for you and lets you grow more as a person. Right. So, I, but I like the, the discussion. I think her acting was one that we were trying to warm up to, mm -hmm. and I think she did well with that moment of receiving that yeah. input because she just yeah. had to receive it. Yeah, I think it's but, but again with her like the Eve character. Yeah, like she's at least she's more believable as a firefighter. The the other yeah. Gabrielle is sort of like oh I haven't she, seen Gabrielle move as a she, firefighter. Yeah, would she really be a firefighter? She you just, think the way seem... Eve moves in those action sequences is more believable? Yeah, she has more of a or presence, just the presence. Her presence, her presence. Okay, yeah. now that's a, a thing more. where we have this idea about who is cool under pressure. Right, right. So the right. way you present yourself, it says, okay, I'm just going to get down to this, this, and this. Yeah, now, yeah. It doesn't have to be masculine, feminine, or any right, of that. Right, right, it's right, more right. about composed when yeah, things yeah. look. Frantic. Right. If you're, I'm gonna swoon. Yeah, we're thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Like, what are you gonna do? And yeah, yeah. Somebody so. hot goes by, and yeah, you got a fire, yeah. but you're gonna swoon over there. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. I'm not saying that that's yeah. what you feel about Gabriella, but I can see how maybe if she's making yeah. certain choices to make her human and make right. you feel her in right. certain scenarios, maybe you then doubt her in others. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's too bad because we want people to be able to be complete human beings yeah, and yeah, still yeah. be respected on the job in yeah, real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you want people to be able to have a round character. Right, right. And especially with women, you want women to be able to socialize as women might. And yeah. sometimes we might be able to want to swoon. And sometimes it's not just a chick thing. Maybe right, guys right. want to swoon too. Why can't we swoon and then be professional? Right, right. Y'all, y'all go ahead and defend her <laughs> choice on that. If you were swooning too, please let us know. But I just didn't swoon. No. Sorry. And I do sometimes swoon. You just have to get me another character. Right, right. You'll see me, mm. and I'll say, sure, oh, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Very unprofessional. We're going to hit the high points of 
the uh, season two finale of Fire Country, I have now gotten one back over to making time for love for these redemption arcs with Gabriella's father, sneaking around, sneaking around to give her some beautiful piece of jewelry for her wedding, be able to walk her down the aisle, still having to go face justice, but redeemed in terms of prioritizing his girl's happiness as opposed to just his escapades trying to get away from the consequences of his doing love the movie music the movie music love mm -hmm. the tv music at the end yeah. where we're getting all this time to be music, with yeah, yeah mm -hmm. with this beautiful song to mm -hmm. have us walk down the aisle and have the the gripping is Bodie gonna mess up the wedding he doesn't spoiler alert he does not mess up the wedding but he does push for i want to be a firefighter and yeah. tries to make sure that the uh district chief who the whatever the mucky de muck is with the perfect hair can maybe pull some strings. So at the end, that's a really momentous thing that pulls in with the music that they're yeah. using a couple different pieces at the end. We talked about the acting, mixed bag for me, talked about the writing. Glad they gave room for these emotional moments to come together mm -hmm. for fans of the show who've been there the whole season. Spiritual connection, redemption arc, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think this is a show that while it doesn't hit all the layers that I like in terms of some of the performances, I still love that the concept pulls me in with the fire and that they gave room for some arcs in terms of relationships. So well done. Entertaining was inspired. Yeah. And we said why. So comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know what we were missing earlier in the fire country season. Because if some of these folks have been showing you nuanced performances, we want to appreciate them. We want to be inspired. Right. And go ahead and check us out as we were talking about outer range and drama that we mm. actually resonated with even more. Yeah. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.